The results from the liver exam indicate that the patient has been making satisfactory progress. She seems to be recovering well, but it's unclear how this disease was transmitted in the first place. We should continue monitoring her for at least another month. I see. Well, I think it's safe to say that the treatment was successful. How about the pathogen itself? What have we learned? And please keep it brief, Robert. My pleasure. Although our analysis is only partially complete. First, the biopsy. Stigma did not match any known organism, meaning it's a new species, so we'll have to come up with a name for it. So how about it, Dr. Everett? You'll be a grandfather one of these days. My son's only 12. All he thinks about is football. Oh, well, in that case, I'll ask someone else. Now, regarding the spectral analysis, our attempts to determine its structure resulted in failure. What? How is that possible? I've never heard of that happening before. We tried a different machine, but the outcome was the same. We screened for nucleic acid, proteins, glucose, lipids, and ATP. But there How no is matter. that possible, then? Stigma consists of an organic compound that is completely foreign to us. What? This will change the way we think about life itself. My thoughts exactly. Whoever is credited with its discovery will surely make history from a medical perspective. It's fortunate that Stigma's infectivity is weak. We're trying to culture it, but so far there's no sign of growth or multiplication. It's going to be difficult to determine the means of infection as well. This is more serious than we thought. Madam Director, we have an emergency. Leslie, of course. we're in the middle of an important conference. Deputy Secretary Marshall has collapsed. He may have intraaxial hemorrhaging. That's not good. George Marshall. From the Department of Homeland Security? What do we need a Department of Homeland oh, Security for? It's created by President Bush. Leslie, I want you to prep Operating Room 3 for him. Vaughn, Blaylock, you two will be performing the procedure. You want us to operate on a high-ranking government official? I'll explain the details before the operation. So please, go make the necessary preparation. It's been 35 minutes since he collapsed. He's a 9 on the coma scale with mild tachypnea. We're waiting on the CAT scan results, but it's most likely a case of subarachnoid hemorrhage. This is his chart from his previous admittance. We performed deep brain stimulation to treat his dystonia. And he was able to recover from that. Incredible. Looks like the systems produced by Columba and Cornix, the same company that made Elena's pump. Yes, it's now a subsidiary of Humani. If you have any questions about it, you can ask Isabella. Director, what's this shadow here on the X-ray? Oh, that. It's a hippocampus chip. We implanted it at his request. He didn't want to forget anything, so he opted to have his memory on it. I assume they're keeping it quiet. Do we need to worry about being in violation of state law? We don't have time to discuss that. Now, the hematoma is far enough away from the electrodes, but take care when using the thrombolytic. Okay, we'll head over to the OR then. Oh, no. The brain surgeries. These are the results from the CT. Please take a look. A number of aneurysms have been detected. Beautiful aneurysms. Some of the Hated blood vessels have already so burst much. and are hemorrhaging heavily inside the brain. First, we must clear the excess blood from the area. Then we need to treat the aneurysms. Remember, this is brain surgery. Please be extra careful when performing this operation. Even a tiny mistake could debilitate his brain. We better be careful. This will require extreme delicacy and dexterity. We need to do our best. Yeah, I think hers would be more useful since I can just let the aneurysms rupture if I ever get in trouble. It'll screw my rank, but... Eh. Since we're operating on the brain, even the smallest mistake can be fatal. We'll have to be extremely careful. That bulge on the vein is the brain aneurysm. Yep, they're let's exactly the same. Before it bursts. I'm getting the sedative ready. Please, let's detach it with a scalpel while the sedative is... The aneurysm has been detached. We at least leave the vein with the forceps and the vein has been reconnected. We are done treating this brain aneurysm. The test said there were multiple aneurysms, though. There's a chance that any of these vessels will turn into aneurysms. Have been oh, beautiful. Already. Let's shift our viewpoint when necessary and treat the aneurysms when they appear. 
There it is. Let's treat it before it bursts. There's more, but we're not looking. Once we treat the ones in sight, we have to quickly change our focus. Oh, those were the only two, huh? That's kind of a relief. Vitals are dropping? Now, hopefully that won't come apart. You're supposed to use the healing touch for this, but I fail at drawing stars for some reason. contracted stigma has had some kind of artificial agent in their body. Even that one patient who was transferred here had Syntex Q heme blood. I was using artificial blood with my test mouse too. Mm. I wonder if there's a connection. Dr. Vaughn, can I trouble you for a moment? Of course. <laughs> I wanted to check on the deputy secretary's condition. I doubt I can tell you more than you already know, ma'am. Since he was brought here promptly, cerebral ischemia was kept to a minimum. 
And there are no signs of severe paralysis, so we shouldn't have to worry about any after effects. We can't use the MRI, so we'll take another CAT scan tomorrow. Will you be advising on his rehab, ma'am? Yes, I will. I also need to administer a personality test. Because of his implant, he must be closely monitored. It's sad, really. He's such a talented man. Yeah, I feel sorry for the guy. But I'd like to leave him in the hands of the others so I can concentrate on stigma. Agreed. And Dr. Vaughn, it's a shame that you feel the need to keep secrets from us. But I'm hoping that will change. What makes you say that? Your cutaneous muscles seem a little more tense than normal. I'm out of practice when it comes to reading faces. Was my assessment accurate? You're a critical part of the Caduceus team. I hope you're not thinking of leaving. Of course not.